Good morning to the community of the Church of God Minister Jesus Christ International. I have been coming for about a year and seven months. I feel very happy, very grateful with God because in my life, I didn't have some aspects of my life organized. And yes, I obtained triumphs, but not as important as the last two. I remember so much that it was the last week of January of the previous year when the mother of my student invited me and I didn't doubt in coming. I have come consistently because sometimes I have to work on Sundays, but I come. I come regardless what happens, I come. And for me, it was very surprising in the end of February when during a prophecy, it was told to me that I will be obtaining a title I desired. And this is when Angel was world champion. Then that motivated me more because it was a true living testimony that God and I could continue receiving blessings. And I always tell Angel, thanks to his mom, but where are the proofs if he has helped me or not? Where are the proofs? Where before when I lost something, um, everybody knew to run away from me. And I lost my passport. Imagine, in the middle of the airport, I lost my passport right about to go boarding on my flight. And I felt very calm, very peaceful. And I went to the counter and at the counter, I showed the copy of the passport. And we said that we lost it. After I was checked in, I lost my passport. The agent from immigration called and the five minutes later, the passport showed up. Oh. I went to the station, police station, information, reception, everywhere, and nothing. And five minutes later, an agent, police agent, came with my passport. And I said, glory to God. Where I see another proof, it's that I was in Madrid. We were worried because to travel to church, it was very far. It was two or three trains, and I was afraid. And a family member, Angel's family member, took us. And there I felt again the change because on the third or second time, they laid hands on me, and I felt the peace. But I lost something there during that time. Because it is very stressful, truly, in which I live. I lost over three and a half kilos. And I didn't stop praying as Angelica had taught me. And I think that complement what's necessary. I'm going to have much knowledge technical knowledge to show my students, but I needed that hand above everything. But for that hand, I needed to assist, as the pastor said in his service, his sermon, in order to enjoy the sermon and leave it. And I remember all of these, I speak and I say it to give honor and glory to the Lord and I have always said it, in my first interview, I have said it. It's a change that I owe it to God. And this is why I'm greatly grateful. Thank you. Good evening, brothers and sisters. May the Lord bless you. A long time ago, the Lord made promises to my family that he would be blessing one of us with a great talent and that it would be giving us great joy, 
the promises began to be fulfilled and the Lord told me that he would be granting me the longings of my heart and not to worry because he would be with me at all times. A few days before I traveled to France, the Lord repeated that promise to me, telling me that I should not worry about anything, that he would be with me and that he would not allow fear or anxiety to overcome me but that he would be exalting me and helping me obtain a victory. A day before the final, my uncle Alfredo came and he laid hands on me, and through that laying on of hands, the Lord spoke to me, and he told me that the moment had arrived to exalt me and give me that victory, that it would be to glorify and honor him. The Lord fulfilled his word, because on the day of the final, I don't think it was a coincidence that most of the other athletes fell down at the end of their routines. It was the Lord's will to fulfill his word and give me that victory. I testify to give honor and glory to the Lord. Good day, brothers and sisters. May the Lord bless you. The Lord has always told my mother and I about his talent, that he will bless my son, that he will take him around the world, and his word has been fulfilled. Before I traveled, the Lord told me not to worry that I will travel and that he will provide the money for me to travel, that it would be a very happy trip. The first day that we arrived in France, a bit of everything happened to me. But I said, Lord, Lord, remember that you told me that this trip will be a very happy trip. Well, the apartment that we had reserved was not ready. They reserved another one for us, and it was not ready either. Well, we had to stay in a hotel that night. The next day, they told us that the apartment we had reserved was canceled and that we lost the money. I said, well, Lord... I know all of this will bring something good. Give me peace because I know that you will not abandon me. And so it was that from then on, everything got better. And I testified to give glory and honor to the Lord. Good morning, brothers and sisters. May God bless you all. I want to testify to magnify the name of our God. It has been 13 years since I arrived at the church. From the first time that I arrived, the Lord made me many promises, and they have all been fulfilled. He began to speak to me about my grandson, Angel, in one prophecy in the neighborhood of airport. He told me that the enemy was angry with me because he wanted to take the life of one of my loved ones. And I started to cry. He told me that he was the youngest. Well, the youngest of my children was Alfredo, but he was already serving the Lord. Then... I was crying and the Lord said to me, don't cry, daughter. He's the smallest one that you love so much, but I'm not going to allow the enemy to touch a hair of his head. And so then I'm going to bless you, pray to me and plead to me that I will take care of him. Well, I left out crying and my daughter asked what happened, mom. And I told her and she said, pray for him, pray for angel. Did he tell you it was angel? And I said, yes. And well, I got home and I started. I used to write all the prophecies that the Lord gave me, everything I wrote down. I wrote down everything and I got sick after from my kidneys and my sister took me to the town of Valencia to undergo a treatment there. And the Lord had also spoken to me in the prophecies about that. About 10 days after being in Valencia, my other daughter calls me and she says, Mom, how are you feeling? And I said, I'm a little better undergoing the treatment. And she said, well, Mom, I'm going to tell you something. And I said, what happened? And she said, well, please don't cry and don't worry because nothing happened. And I said, Melena, what happened? And she said, Mom, you see, we were having lunch and Angel ran out and a driver was coming and a Volkswagen came and Angel fell under the car and the car ran over him and the driver hit the brakes and I screamed and she said, no, Mom, don't worry. Thank God nothing happened to him. And I and, and t she's, I said, tell me the truth. And she's, is he, is he in the clinic? And she said, no, they've taken, they have taken him all over the place, but there's nothing wrong with him. And I, and I said to her, please do me a favor. Go to the last room in the house. Uh, while I'm in Valencia, look at the, 
book of prophecies that I have there and read it and then call me back. And she read it. And indeed, in March of 2014, the Lord gave me the prophecy. And in August of 2014, it was fulfilled. The Lord did not allow anything to happen to Angel and it didn't allow for me to be present because otherwise I would have died from the shock because everyone was screaming. My daughter was saying that everyone came out shouting. Boy, well, that's how it happened. The Lord had been telling me about the child who who was going to bless him and he was going to make him great, who he was going to give him many blessings and take him everywhere. He was going to make give him many gifts. And he told me 10 years ago that the press and the television were going to come to my house because he was going to bless him greatly and they were going to interview me. And that was last year when he became the world champion of his sport. The press came to my house. And then he was going to give me a material blessing. He gave us a house and he, we changed our home. Glory to God. Glory to him. He gave us a new home. The, go, the governor gave it to him. And then God uh, began to tell me that he was going to take him to see the world. He was going to take him around the world because he was going to take him uh, to preach his word. And that he was going to give him a triumph that would be a great blessing. And that the world was going to know God through angel. And the glory be for our God. And I testify to exalt the name of my heavenly father.